Space 2023. I look forward to the next 12 months in astronomy. Welcome back to the Cosmic Companion. I'm James Maynard. This week, we wrap up season six as we look at Space 2023. Now, in the year 2023, a massive nuclear explosion will rip the moon from its orbit, sending more than 300 inhabitants of a lunar colony careening into space. No, no, that's oh, not right. Yeah, right. Anyway, uh, we're going to give you a look at what's happening in the night sky over the next 12 months, as well as looking forward to what's coming up on our show in the coming weeks. Now, in January, we're going to take a glimpse at how 3D environments give us our best look yet at, the fu at our future beyond the Earth. We're also going to imagine predators in space. What can animal hunters here on Earth teach us about possible predators on distant worlds? We're going to be hunting down ideas with Shark Week regular Paul de Gelder. Yeah, him. On the 28th of January, we're going to be discussing the history of diversity in space exploration from its earliest days up through the modern age and beyond. Talking with Meredith Bagby, author of The New Guys. Check out, check that out in episode four of our upcoming season coming out on the 28th of January. Now, if that weren't enough, we're going to be kicking February off with a new look at the amazing remastered images of the Apollo from the Apollo Project. We welcome NASA expert and historian Andy Saunders to the show, discussing his new work, Apollo Remastered. Here's a short clip from that interview. And I was just, I couldn't believe what, what I was looking at, you know, and I knew what this meant. It was, you know, a, a really clear image of Neil Armstrong on the moon. You can see his face, you can see his eyelid. Yeah. So I don't think anything will ever kind of top that. Uh, but the front cover's got a bit of everything. It was a very underexposed photograph. We almost never see it. It's become this incredible atmospheric portrait. It's the only photograph of an Apollo astronaut in the full suit and bubble helmet in the lunar module. It's a historic moment because he's actually looking up through the docking window, undertaking the first ever docking in space between two crewed spacecraft. I spoke to Rusty Schweikart, who took that photograph, um, and he said, I can't tell you how hard he's concentrating in that moment. You know, this is the first time they'd ever undertaken the docking. Right. The controls right. were set up to look forwards out of the windows for landing on the moon, but because right. they were testing it in Earth orbit, he was looking up the, through the docking window, so he had to translate through 90 degrees, all of those movements, they were in a spacecraft that couldn't get them home. There was no heat shield because it was the lunar module that they were testing. So if they didn't right. dock to the command module that had the heat shield, they were in trouble. They're in, big, they're in trouble. So it's yeah. high pressure, historic moment, concentrating hard. And yet it also happens to be this cinematic atmospheric portrait. So that has a bit of everything in it. And hence, wow. you know, being on the front cover. Join us starting on 4th of February to watch the full interview with Andy Saunders looking at Apollo to Artemis, our future on the moon. Now, naturally, 2023 will feature the usual annular solar, uh, the usual annular meteor showers, and the moon is always going to be there. That is, unless a giant nuclear explosion. But apart from that remote possibility, here's a look forward to the coming year in the night sky. On 20th of April in the coming year, many amateur astronomers in the Southern Hemisphere will be treated to a hybrid solar eclipse. Uh, these events appear total in some areas and partial in others, hence the name hybrid. No, they don't run on batteries half the time. This eclipse begins in the southern Indian Ocean, uh, stretching toward Western Australia and southern parts of Indonesia. Now, people living on the islands of Indonesia and parts of Australia will be treated to a partial eclipse. What about the kangaroos? Well, yeah, naturally, the kangaroos are going to enjoy it as well. 
a penumbral lunar eclipse happening on the 5th of May will be seen over parts of Eastern Europe and Africa, all of Asia, Australia again. Well, that's a rip snorter. Our planetary companion, the Moon, comes in closer to Earth than average, barring a huge, massive nuclear explosion! Explosion! Uh, producing a supermoon on the 3rd of July. Another supermoon, this one also moon, is going to take place on the final day of August. On the 14th of October, as you're hanging Halloween decorations, an annular solar eclipse will develop in the Pacific Ocean west of southern Canada and spread toward the southwest of the United States before moving into Central America and Brazil. Large swaths of North and South America will be treated to a partial eclipse from this event. Europe, Asia, Africa, and Western Australia are going to see a partial lunar eclipse on the 28th of October, Halloween weekend. Oh! If you enjoy The Cosmic Companion, also take a listen to our friends at Pale Blue Pod. This new podcast about space and astronomy, hosted by astrophysicist and folklorist Dr. Moya Mutir, and comedian and space educator Corinne Caputo, brings science to everyone with fun, lighthearted episodes. Astrophysicist and folklorist, remember, Moya Mutir earned a degree in Harvard and PhD from Columbia University. Given her desire to teach science with humor, and probably just as important to this narrative, she also went on to meet writer and comedian Corinne Caputo. Now, Caputo is a former game show host, and she wrote Space Trash for Yale Summer Cabaret. Check out this podcast for people who are overwhelmed by the universe but want to be its friend at palebluepod.space. Now, next week for our season seven premiere, we're going to welcome Tony Tolado, host of the Sci Fi Talk podcast, to the show. We'll be envisioning our future in space as seen through the revolutionary technologies of the Metaverse and 3D environments. Please join us starting on the 7th of January. Now, make sure you enjoy all the universe around us has to offer and visit us each week here on The Cosmic Companion. Don't you just adore sharing The Cosmic Companion with all our friends, Mopsy? Most indubitably. You're always welcome in our corner of space. Clear skies and Happy New Year.